Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Did you know it's illegal for Amazon companies to offer you compensation for a five star review? Well, it is. I'll get into that here in just a second. Stick around. Okay guys, so as you guys know, I just did a review on these crappy light bulb cameras. They screw into a light socket. There'll be an upcoming re-review re on these things. Well, the other day, I got this nice little card. From Amazon $25 gift certificate claim your $25 Amazon gift card okay and on the back it tells you how to do that and yes that is the camera and if you've seen it says happy new year on it okay we're you know a fourth of the way into the new year but hey whatever Amazon gift card giveaway $25 Complete the easy steps below, you will get a $25 Amazon gift card, okay? If you submit photo or video with your comments, you will get an extra $5 bonus. Wow. So I was like, yeah, I'll leave a review, you know, because I normally don't leave bad reviews. I just get a hold of the company. You know send it back or whatever and let them know their products junk um, now I have given several good reviews honest good reviews on different things that that I really liked and that are a good product okay so complete these easy steps there's six steps to it okay number one you sign into your Amazon account number two you find find the correct order ID which is this I'll show you here in a minute okay write a product review I'm like okay yeah I'll do that I'll write a product review then I read the fine print right below that okay let me read that to you click write a product review rate five star and share your experience with positive text. It would be awesome if you upload with picture. Now, uh, then of course you save the screenshot, you, s you send it to this uh, website there, and uh, then you get your $25 gift code, three to business days if it's live on Amazon. Well, the FT, FTC is saying it's illegal to do this, okay? The F, how much is an FTC fine, okay? Our prediction came true, and we expect this to be continued, a, to be a continued focus of enforcement activity in 2023. With the recent increase, the commission can now seek up to $50,120 in civil penalties per violation of an FTC rule. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's go to this. Illegal payment for Amazon reviews can include offering customers money gift cards money goods or services in exchange for a positive review it also goes on to say this practice is not allowed by Amazon and the company has been known to take strong action against those who violate this rule this is Amazon right on it okay how can they not know how can they not know Okay, I'll tell you why I'm 
a little jacked off at Amazon right now. So, you know, write a product review. I went to the thing. There it is. Alright. You can buy it again. You can get product support. Return your items eligible through April 15, 2023. How's your item? Right there. How's your item? You see those? One is write a product review. The second one is add an unboxing or how-to video. And then the third one is leave the seller feedback. So let's, okay, I did a review on it. Let's do, let's say I want to do an unboxing and how-to video. This is what I get. It says, before you start to submit videos, you need to have spent at least $50 on Amazon in the last 12 months and meet all other community guidelines. Well, I can tell you something that um, this tent alone was over hundred was over a hundred dollars. It was like 116 by itself. And that wasn't too long ago. So yeah, that was within the past 12 months. So they're not, you know, gonna let me do that. All right, so let's um, let's just go ahead and write a review write a product review now when I hit write a product review look what comes up and I'll read that to you we apologize but Amazon has noticed some unusual reviewing activity on this account as a result all reviews submitted by this account have been removed that means any review I've ever done has been removed, and I'm pretty sure about 99% of them were good reviews, so that's hurting the seller. Um, and this account will no longer be able to contribute reviews and other content on Amazon. If you would like to learn more, please see our community guidelines page, and, I, and I've checked it out thoroughly, and I, I know I've never... Uh, I've never broke any of them guidelines whatsoever. To contact us about this decision, please email community-help at Amazon.com. Now, I was doing some reading on here. You know, I do my research the best of my ability before I make these videos. Uh, they, won't, they won't get back to you. They just will absolutely not get back to you. So... Now, if you go on to a sheriff department website or a police department website and you leave a review that, that makes them butt hurt, you leave a poor review, you don't like, you know, one star, I don't like the way your officers treat people, whatever. If they take that review down and block you from leaving a review, um, this is true. This violates your First Amendment right, the right to freedom of speech. Isn't that what they're doing to me, Amazon? Why can they get away with it? Why can Amazon get away with walking all over my constitutional rights? You know? That's in violation of my First Amendment right. You know? You send me this. And you want me to write a review, but I can't write a review. Even if I wanted to, which I wasn't going to do it for the $25 gift card. Believe me, I was going to tell them what kind of piece of crap this was. One star, that's it. I was going to tell them, like I said, there'll be a video coming out about this piece of junk. Um, so they're going to be getting sent back. So how is it they're getting by with violating my rights? So they, they not only ban me from my freedom of speech, my First Amendment right, my freedom of speech to let others know that these things are junk. Not only did they violate that, but they took away every other review I may have done in the past, every one of them. It's a violation of my constitutional right. I don't care who you are. If the police departments and the sheriff's departments and the highway patrol departments, if they can't do it, how can Amazon? 
Wouldn't it be great just to get a whole bunch of us together and file a class action lawsuit against that? Because I'm not the only one. Hundreds, hundreds of people are having this problem. Now, with that said, leave, leave the seller feedback, okay? Let's leave the seller feedback. Boom, I can leave the seller feedback, but I can't leave an Amazon review. Hmm. That doesn't make sense. I don't get it. So I just wanted to let you guys know, if you get one of these, be aware it's illegal, number one. And number two, if you're doing this, writing five-star reviews, just to get 25 or $30 gift card, which is in fact more than the price of the product itself, by like, nine dollars your dirt bag um, if you can't leave an honest review don't leave any review and that's why I always told you my review videos I am brutally honest if I don't like it I will tell you I don't want my viewers spending their hard-earned money on crap just ain't gonna do it and I'm not gonna leave uh, I mean what's thirty dollars really but yeah, I wanted to leave an actual honest review. I was going to give it one star because that really pissed me off. When I seen that, I was like, wait a minute. I don't even think they're allowed to do that. I think the FTC put a stop to that, buying reviews, and they did. And right there, click write a review, rate five star, and share your experience with positive text. So they're saying, you know what? Here's 30 bucks. Send me a picture and make me a good review. I'll give you 30 bucks. It's illegal. It's disheartening, you know, because I do, like when I bought this camera, when I buy pretty much anything online, I check out the reviews. You know, it's, it's unreal. I, I mean, it's unreal. Let's go to this. Let's see the, um, Let's go, let's go to this item. Has a four out of five star review. This thing has four out of five stars. So let's scroll down here to the review section and let's see what the reviews are like. Okay, there's a question, customer reviews. Customer reviews, four out of five stars, 611 global ratings. Okay, so It's got five star for easy to use, 4.6 star easy to install, 4.4 star value for money, picture quality 4.3, night vision 4.3, motion detection 4.2. Doesn't seem right. Let's click on the, and we got 62% five star reviews. 11% four star reviews, 8% three star reviews, 6% two star reviews, 14% one star reviews. So, let's read read you know one or two of these. Okay, like like if I hit write write a review, that comes up again. Let's do one star reviews. Like, here's one right here about this thing, which was April 12th, 2023. Today's, so this was yesterday. I have, I have blink. Then I bought this one for outside. Mistake. Does not pick up cars coming down driveway, people walking out to car, nothing. But it will pick up every little bug that flies by. Don't waste your money. Exactly. And it will too. It will do that. There's one was not able to work. It won't work. Like one of the problems I have with this thing. These are supposed to be side motion sensors. Now either there's no side motion sensor in there. Which I don't think it is. Just looks like a piece of plastic. Either there's not no side motion sensor in that. Or they're not working on either one. Because... If this camera is facing this way and you're walking this way, it will not pick you up. If you run 
past this thing. It cannot pick you up. It can't find you. Nine times out of ten, this thing, once it's done picking up a bug or whatever it does, it starts turning and it faces the wall every time. No matter how you set your settings, every time this thing faces the damn wall. And which there was one one in here that talked about it. You know, they're they're having uh, memory card issues, which, like I said, both these they're, you know, they'll 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 fall out, they'll pop out, they don't want to work. You also that's another review. I'll I'll get into that. But right now, guys, if you're watching this, you're thinking about one. Don't get this. Don't get them. Do not buy. Um, uses tactics to sign up for their uh, monthly subscription app crashes many times I've had that problem uh, I did get a couple hummingbird uh, clips uh, these things only work when they want to there's one no <laughs> It records nothing, naughty, so theirs ain't even even recording at all. So, you know, I'm I'm probably gonna send this back, these back, because you know, there's other things I can do with that money. I know I know it didn't cost much. That's beside the point. Let's see how much was it? How much did I give for that thing? Twenty-five seventy-eight. I'll have to make sure, but yeah, it was that. Uh, it says here. I paid twenty five seventy eight for it, so twenty six bucks, right? It's ridiculous. Twenty six bucks for something that you can't use. I know a lot of people. I get these comments all the time. What do you expect? Well, I expect it to do what it says it'll do. I don't care if it's twenty six cents or twenty six dollars. If you say it's going to do something, I expect it to do it. You know, that's it. And then you go reading all them them good reviews. And they always put the good reviews first, right down the line. All these good reviews, you know, oh, they're perfect. Uh, works flawlessly. No issues whatsoever. But like I said, I read so many reviews how that thing will just turn and face the wall. You know, it does not pick up side movement. That's probably supposed to simulate side sensors. Because you have to have a side sensor in order for this thing pick up anything so like if you're down here let's say you know you park up here and you walk down this thing will not move up and down it only moves left and left and right when it wants to it does its own thing but anyway yeah that's illegal I don't know how Amazon's getting away with it I don't know how Amazon's letting this company get away with that but I'm gonna see how I can report that because this is ridiculous you know um, they block me from writing reviews, but I get sent this, write a review. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, be, be, beware of reviews, guys. They're, they're just, you can't even believe them anymore. You know, frankly, it's, quite frankly, it's bullshit. You know, people spend their hard-earned money on crap. It's ridiculous. So, beware, guys. Stay tuned for more videos on this. Or oh, well, one more video on that, on those. And I have something here. It's going to be another review. And with that being said, I'm going to say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Gone for now. Um, let's see, tomorrow's Friday. Hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Be safe and take care, everyone. Bye-bye.